Hello, this is uh, Finback at SAP. Uh, in this uh, video, uh, we're going to show you some of the new features in the SAP Business One mobile application, uh, basically based on the release 1.3 that was launched in August 2011. quick uh, impression of uh, the new features in uh, 1.3 version. Uh, you can download uh, this uh, application on the Apple App Store. Actually, anybody can do that. Uh, install it on your iPhone or your iPad and uh, play around with it. We have a demo environment that uh, anybody can uh, link into. If you're a Business One customer, uh, you can uh, change the link from your mobile device to your own business data in your, your office and see your own data uh, on the mobile uh, device. And you can do that, uh, one of the changes we made, you can do that now not only for the professional u license users, but also the limited license users. So, let's take a little bit more detailed look at what's new. One of the first things you will notice is uh, a new icon, a new interface. So uh, Business One has now uh, aligned with the uh, corporate uh, standard for interfacing for mobile solution from uh, SAP uh, using this yellow and uh, gray uh, colors a lot. And as you can see, uh, the menu bar now is uh, much uh, longer uh, in uh, uh, version 1.3. So we'll talk about each of these in more detail. So first we're going to look at the home screen. So now we're going to look into a specific activity where uh, Tom Mobile is the contact person uh, and the monthly review is the title. So now I'm going to tap this icon here and uh, we're going to now actually synchronize uh, between Business One and the uh, agenda of the iPad in this case. So we open uh, the agenda and we can see here is this monthly review meeting with Tom Mobile and uh, in this way uh, the activities have been uh, let's say coming from Business One via your iPad into your agenda. So we go back to Business One and what you notice right away we uh, get into the same place as where we ended so Business One in version 1.3 is actually multitasking. Now for approval alerts and reports there is not really that much uh, new. I'm just going to show here the report because I think that's such a great feature that you can get, get whatever uh, report you created back in the office onto your um, screen. So uh, let's look a little bit into business partners. There's a couple of new things there. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the first thing is that right away you can see the value of any UDFs um, created. You don't have to now tap to see the value. Uh, uh, and the names of those UDFs, and here is a transaction uh, a tab where you can actually zoom into all different type of uh, transactions. We're going to talk more about that later on. Uh, you can uh, you can edit uh, a lot more than what you could. You can go into um, uh, different contact persons, uh, add contact persons, um, edit the old ones, obviously. And uh, you can then obviously do that while you're out there at the customers uh, talking with them. For example, here as well, if uh, the customer tells you, hey, you keep sending uh, your letters to the wrong address, you can uh, directly here update uh, the address while you're sitting there with your uh, customer. And uh, the system back in the office will obviously also be uh, uh, updated. So um, a couple of more things here. Uh, you can uh, uh, also change here uh, the uh, yeah, user defined uh, field uh, default. Um, if you again decide to do that uh, sitting at the customer place. 
So we're going to take a look at the uh, the stock as well. Um, we made one change here based on the request from a lot of customers. So uh, we're going to pick up one item here. Often you want to see how much do I have in stock. But a lot of customers told us uh, it would be great if you can also see uh, in which warehouse that, that stock is, is located. So uh, by tabbing you can zoom in uh, to a, a more detailed level and see that, hey, yeah, we got also something on the West Coast. So if your customer is close to the West Coast uh, warehouse, uh, you can uh, tell them that they can get their goods uh, much uh, faster than uh, if they were not. Uh, on the price list, we didn't make so much changes. Uh, we're going to talk now about the uh, sales opportunities. So you can look up um, uh, information about all the sales opportunities defined in the system. You cannot create new ones in version 1.3, but you can look them up um, so that if you're at a customer, you can always uh, talk about what uh, what is in uh, uh, your system back in the office, uh, so you have that clear information. You can also look up uh, sales orders, and uh, if you wipe the screen here, as you can see I just did, uh, uh, the screen will actually refresh to see if there are some uh, new sales orders in the system. So let's look a little bit, what, what can you actually look up uh, regarding sales orders? And again, you can look up, you cannot create. Uh, you have a, a header tab where you'll uh, look at some, some um, general information about sales order. Then there's a contents tab where you can look at the items and the quantities and even the prices associated. Uh, you can look at logistics, which is our shipment addresses and billing addresses and even shipment uh, method. Let's say you're at the customer and they're asking about a certain sales order to put in and they're just wondering when you're going to deliver. So you can look that up here. You can look up the delivery date. And if it was yesterday, you might tell them, hey, you're going to get that very soon. Um, and uh, you can even look up the, the payment terms for that specific sales order. You can also look up and uh, <clears throat> look at the sales cook quotations again you cannot create any in uh, version uh, 1.3 and this is pretty similar to the sales order uh, you can look up all different type of information related to a specific uh, sales quotation um, and uh, hey you might say god this is still open let's uh, email the contact person for your sales quotation at the customer so right away you can uh, uh, generate the mail to that uh, person uh, as linked to that sales quotation in your system and now I'm going to look at uh, something that uh, is really good looking uh, on uh, on the iPad and new in uh, the 1.3 version, and that's uh, some some standard dashboard. So we're going to look at sales analysis. So the system is going to now build up uh, different type of uh, pieces of information. Um, it will start with uh, some uh, uh, fiscal year uh, analysis uh, for how you're doing sales-wise. Uh, it will talk about the opportunity win uh, rate, the top customers, the top items, and then uh, an overview of uh, opportunity statuses. So uh, you can actually then uh, uh, double tap on any of these uh, <coughs> windows. And as you can see here, um, you can zoom in. Uh, you can uh, tap on uh, one of these bars and get the, to see the data behind that, uh, that bar. Um, and in this way, you can kind of drill down a little bit here uh, to see a little bit more data. Uh, it's it's a, a basic uh, dashboard. Um, it's uh, it's only two of them. We're pre-delivering. You cannot change them. Uh, you cannot create your new ones in version 1.3. Uh, but you can uh, have your customers uh, uh, look at some uh, yeah, some basic information in a in a nice way. So here is the last one. If you can, if I can manage to type that correctly, yeah, there it comes. Um, this is one the interesting one. Uh, visual. If you if you tap a certain area, um, <clears throat> um, the circle will rotate and uh, show that area uh, lined up um, uh, at the end of the of the circle. So here we have uh, the second one's cash flow. So first, the system will show um, some ingoing and outgoing uh, activities expected forecasted over the next days and, and weeks. So you can see uh, whether you're going to be okay on cash. It's going to show you uh, uh, some of the, the transactions that are influencing and it will uh, also show you information split a little bit on the business partner uh, amount. So again, these are uh, some basic um, dashboards. Uh, you cannot change them yourself. You cannot create them, uh, create new ones to yourself. 
Now the last uh, features we're going to look at is actually outside of Business One, but in the in the settings. So uh, we're going to go to the settings for Business One, and uh, based on feedback from a lot of customers, they said, "Can I can I influence which database uh, Business One will connect to?" So yes, here you can. You can uh, enter the name of the database, and uh, the system will go and get data from that one. Uh, you have uh, we have also entered a, a second um, data uh, demo server in China. So if you want to see Chinese letters on your screen, you can link to that one uh, instead of the, the English one in Germany. So thank you very much for having watched this video. Um, try it out yourself. It's uh, really cool.